uh, hello friends today in this tutorial I will basically show you how we can code a PHP script which will allow us to extract all the text which is present inside the PDF document so this is the live demo of the application guys we have a choose file button and as I basically click this button I will be able to select any PDF document so let's suppose I select this PDF document you will see a sample text is present inside this PDF document so now if I want to extract this text so what I will do is that first of all I will select this file and now basically guys if I click the extract text button so you will see in a modal window in bootstrap all the text will be extracted in the text area you will see that from the PDF document and now we have a download text button here if you want to download all the text in a txt file if I click this button a txt file will be downloaded and you will see that all the text will be there so this is a really useful tool that we will be doing it in this tutorial guys in this live stream it will be allowing us to build this application it's a fully fleshed application where you select a PDF document extract text and now you can see that so the text is extracted it can contain the PDF file can contain multiple pages and it will extract all the text which is present if I basically open this file you will see that a lot of text is present right here in this file so we will try to basically build this application guys how we can extract text from PDF document the link is given in the description of the video if you want the full source code you can directly purchase the full source code and after purchasing the source code from stripe.com you will get this directory structure uh, you will see that all the dependencies will be included so let's start building this application so very first thing guys we will do we will actually make a file index.html file so here guys we will have a simple form we will basically include bootstrap for this we are requiring some bootstrap for the modal window that you are seeing right here so just we will also be requiring some jquery as well container and then we will have a text center class we will say pdf text extractor so after that guys we will basically have a form which will basically go to pdf to text dot php this is a php script that we will write method is post and encoding type will be multi part form data so here guys we will allow the user to select a pdf file we will have a label we will say select pdf file then basically we will have a input type file and we will give it a bootstrap class of form control and uh, this is required and also we will give it a name of pdf file we will only be accepting dot pdf files only that's all and then we will have a break tag and after that we will have a button which will be of type submit and here we will be giving a class to it btn btn primary and we will say that extract text so that's all guys and if you refresh the application just rename this file to pdf to text so now you will see we have this interface pdf text extractor we have this button as well so now we need to write this uh, php script guys which will once the user submit the form this php script will invoke so now we need to 
first of all upload the file so for uploading the file guys we need to create a uploads directory here so just create a uploads directory it is needed for and the, now we will write the php code so first of all we will require the library guys we are using the library that i have written so you will need this library so after you purchase the source code you will get this library which will automatically extract the text from the pdf document and show it in the modal window so for that we need to purchase the source code and then after you include the library we will simply check if the request method is equal to post and also if the file is set or not dollar files pdf file so here guys we are checking for the method if the method is post and also the file is present or not if the file is present and in that case we will get the file address so this is present inside so whatever name attribute that you have given inside index.html so we have given this name attribute that's why we are using this after that guys we will say what is the file extension so we can basically get the file extension using this method string to lower path info and then we can pass pdf file the name of the file like this and then we will put a comma here and then we will use this constant which is path info extension just copy this line so you can see that so so here we are getting the file extension guys after we get the file extension we will basically check using this method in array so in array basically it's a validation method inside php which automatically checks if uh, allowed extensions so allowed extensions it will be only pdf so here we are basically doing form validation at the server side we are only allowing the files which are pdf so that's why we have this if condition so this will return true if the file is ph uh, pdf file and then we will get the path of the file using pdf file temporary path so temporary path we will get guys like this this is pdf file temp name so after getting the path guys it's very simple we will require the library once again vendor auto load dot php and after loading this we will simply say pdf parser and then we will initialize the library that i have written which is sma lot this is the syntax guys of the library pdf parser and slash uh, parser and then we will basically it this library contains a method which is called as parse file so inside this you need to pass the path of the file uploaded file path and then the text variable we will declare currently this variable will be nothing and now we will be running a for each loop in php and here we will be running it for all the pages so in order to get all the pages in the pdf document we will use this syntax which is pdf get pages so it will return the number of pages it will loop it for every page we will convert the text we will extract the text dot is equal to and then we will say page get text so this is a really simple code guys what we are doing right here if you see closely see what we are doing we are concatenating the text in the text variable which is currently empty and here we are using the for each loop if you see we are using this for each loop and uh, for every page in the pdf document we are extracting the text out there with really simple code
So after doing this, we are also in this line of code, we are initializing the library. This is actual library. So after doing this guys, what we need to do, we need to basically, if you just echo out this text guys, let's suppose just for the clarity purpose, if I cross check and uh, if I select the PDF document, click extract text, it is saying undefined variable PDF file on line number 10. Let me see. Sorry, this needs to be PDF file. just select your file click and now guys you will see that basically all the text is extracted from the pdf document now we need to show this text in a model window of bootstrap so for that guys what we need to do we now need to echo out some dynamic javascript in php we need to mix javascript in php for doing this we will echo out some statement here we will include the script tag this will be for uh, including javascript and uh, bootstrap js as well so these two echo statements are required guys simply write this this is actually the cdn of uh, jquery and bootstrap we are just including it using the echo statement in php so after doing this guys we will basically have this element which is a script element which will be a simple code for the slightly complicated code is this is let me just copy paste it copy paste so basically what it, what this code will do guys it will show the text in a you will see that so we format this so we have uh, writing some java uh, jquery code guys so we have uh, encoding the json by removing the special characters and then basically we are showing it in the model window and also we have a download button as well which will actually download the file in a txt file so then we are showing the model window right here if i now click so now guys nothing happens let me see why okay guys we haven't added the model as well so right after the form inside index.html we need to add the form as well we need to add the model window so this is the code for adding the model window guys so this is very simple code so what I will do, I will write this code. This is very simple code guys, you have seen models in bootstrap. So we have written this model, very simple. We have the header, we have the title. The title is extracted text, the body will contain the actual text of the PDF document. It contains a text area and a footer will contain a download button, that's all. click and once again there is some kind of error guys the, the link of the full source code is given in the description sometimes in live coding sometimes uh, error can take place this is a full file here and let me rename this file to index.php this is a fully fleshed code guys and uh, you can basically deploy this application on the internet to basically earn a lot of money you will see that so now the text is showing right here and uh, you can copy to clipboard or you can download the text in a txt file so you will see that so you can take any pdf file for example you can see that so so this was the tool guys that we developed in php it's very much easy to develop all the source code is given you can directly purchase the full source code from stripe.com alongside with this directory structure and thank you very much please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well and i will be seeing you in the next tutorial until then thank you very much